Tamaris. The daughter of Martin Luther King Jr. has a very special plea as we honor the civil rights leader this weekend. Bernice King wants everyone around the world to forsake violence, and not just for the MLK holiday tomorrow, but for 100 days. The theme is Choose Nonviolence Now, and now standing for No Other Way. Joining us now, Dr. Bernice King. Such an honor to have you here, Dr. King. You know, Thank I you. think now more than ever, we mm -hmm. need this movement. We've seen just in the last week, every single day, from schools to shopping centers. Mm -hmm. How are you going to accomplish this 100-day this challenge? Well, we've set up uh, a website, choosenonviolence.org, where every day there are activities and people can find tips on how to begin to change, first and foremost, your frame of mind. Because we know everything begins in the mind, in the thinking. Uh, and, and so we've set it up that way for 100 days. Uh, and during the course of uh, those 100 days, we're working with like the Metro Atlanta Urban League, some other organizations uh, around the nation, hoping to reach uh, as many young people as we can. We knew realistically this is a beginning, a step. Uh, because it's massive, as mm -hmm. you know. And, and so Daddy, he told us today, and he said this in 67. Mm -hmm. He said, today the choice is no longer between violence and nonviolence, but nonviolence or nonexistence. Mm -hmm. And that's where we are. Uh, so we started a campaign at the beginning of the year called Choose Nonviolence. And we're going to be having summits, dialogues, retreats. Uh, we're going to be starting a global uh, initiative to really focus people's attention on what it means to holistically choose nonviolence. And on Monday specifically, uh, we're calling for a moratorium on violence. Uh, we call Monday sometimes a day on uh, and not a day off. And mm -hmm. I'm saying let's take a day off from violence and a day on with nonviolence. That's where a lot of the community service comes in. Focus your attention on something positive. So no shooting off of your tongue, right. your fist, or your, or your gun, gun. On that day. And, you know, we've talked about this so many times when it comes to violence. It starts in the community. There's only so much yes. that politicians and law enforcement can do. The community is where it can begin. Yes. What's your message in that sense? Well, I think we have to learn to hold each other accountable. So, so often there are things that are happening right in and around us, and we kind of, you know, turn our face or we, we, we shut our ears mm -hmm. to it. Uh, and it's really about uh, community and neighbor uh, accountability. And, and so Monday it starts, but this is something we have to do on a daily basis. Uh, the more we focus our attention on enhancing, improving, uh, others lives uh, I think the greater possibility of us to rid our nation of violence but when it's so self-centered mm -hmm. you know you're thinking about how you feel you know what uh, insulted you um, feeling like I need to vindicate or uh, get revenge on someone uh, it's but finding my daddy, that peace, yes, and that's what your peace. father was he all was, about. He was. No he doubt, was about others. No doubt, your father's looking down upon you. What do you think he uh, thinks about you today, as he? Well, I certainly, what you're doing? I certainly hope he would be proud of what sure, I'm trying but... to do, especially in carrying this nonviolent message, because that was the heart and soul of the movement. Movement uh, accomplishments never would have happened with violence, because mm -hmm. violence only begets more violence. Dr. Bernice King, no doubt your father's looking down on, on you and incredibly proud, and we're so honored to have you here today. Thank you.